Welcome to Asana Solutions, the number one channel on YouTube for all things related to Asana, process improvement, and project management. I'm your host, my name is Marquis, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about onboarding. Whether it is a new hire onboarding or a client onboarding, this is really the first experience for your new candidate or your new client to see behind the curtains and see if you are living up to the promises that you made in the recruiting and hiring process. We spend so much time in filing through different resumes and interviews and references, and then oftentimes things fall apart when it comes to onboarding your new candidates properly. So I'm gonna show you what our onboarding at Ditto looks like inside of Asana to give you some ideas on what it could look like and how you can roll out the red carpet for your new hires. We'll see you on the inside. Just because it's the way you've always done it, it doesn't mean it's the right way. It's time for change. All right, so let's jump into it. So what I'm gonna do, I already have the template set up. In this video, I'm not gonna show you how to make the template because it is something that is so customizable that I just wanna give you an understanding of what it could look like for you. So let's go and create our project and we're going to use a template of course and now i'm just going to search my templates where is it? new hire onboarding checklist there it is so in another video i showed you how to edit templates and create templates using the you using the new builder but in this case we're just going to go in here and we are going to name this guy michael scott if you know you know all right so while that is populating, I should have done this before, but that is okay. Maybe we'll do some editing magic to speed it up here. Um, off the top, we have a template um, or just an instructional for how to actually use this template. So the first task you're gonna see is how to use this template, ditto internal use only. So it gives us a bit of a legend as to what some of the custom fields mean, how we get this set up, and what to do with the project once um, everything has been created. So the template, it already has specific tasks assigned. We know how to do that already, but this is what ours looks like. So it's important that when they come in, they won't see this. We'll actually complete this task once. Um, actually, we'll just delete that task once we have um, started it. And then what's wrong? I can't talk today. Um, and then I'm just going to assign these to our analyst. So the first thing that they're going to see when they come in is my face, unfortunately. <laughs> you again. Me again. So we have this like, please watch this video first. Um, and it's important that when you're you're onboarding new people, you really roll out the red carpet. Like I said off the top, you know, you want to be able to deliver on the promises you made in the recruiting process. So they're going to see this video. It's a minute long, just walking them to ditto. That's the first thing they see and they complete that. Then the next one is how to actually go through this self-directed onboarding project because it is self-directed. They move through it at their own pace, right? And so they watch this video and then they complete it. And, you know, as they go along, they check off these milestones because these have already been set. Um, this now activates, you know, in this case, Nicole, um, the notice to create the dittified avatar in Canva. And so we just have like um, some of our branded headshots. We just, you know, want to standardize them for email signatures and things like that. And then they're going to add that avatar to our Google admin um, as well as the team directory. And then these are all assigned to our new hire. So let's just bring in analyst right here and we would do the same. All of their tech setup, they're going to do this all because it is all self directed. Right, everything from installing Google Chrome, signing into one password. Um, there's a link in here where they can actually join Ditto, um, signing into Slack. There's the invite for them to join Slack, joining Lucid. There is how they access Lucid, request to join Loom. They can click there and they get requested. They request to join our Loom space as well. And then they need to add their headshots and Chrome extensions, download mobile apps, blah, blah, blah. Everything, connect their email to HubSpot. All of that stuff needs to happen before they can actually start. And then there's obviously internal stuff for us to do as well. The next thing we do to get them like really trained up is everyone needs to watch our Vivid Vision. If you haven't um, seen Ditto's 25, 2025 Vivid Vision, I'm going to link it down below in the description for you to go, go take a look at it so you can see where we're headed. Um, but then they need to review the Google Drive hierarchy. So instead of, again, taking our time walking through everyone, walking everyone through this as they start off, we just have a Loom video. 
please take a few minutes to go through this video. This walks you through our client folders, um, how they're organized in Google, and what documents you'll use the most. And then we have um, recordings of our calls, everything from our sales connect call to our explore call, kickoff meetings, deep dive, deep dive presentation, our onboarding calls, um, our training calls for our customers, our retrospective calls as a team. So how did we do? These all get assigned. And so let's just add those to the analyst again, right? And then the last step before they actually get to reviewing our standard operating procedures and our tech we use and our SLP index um, is to book a meeting with our client success manager. So there's the Calendly link to do that. And at this point, they've gone through everything. They probably have a million questions. They need someone to turn to next. We don't want to abandon them. So they book this call with our client success manager. They get on, all their questions are answered. And if it can't be answered on that call, then they're directed to the right person. But we want to make sure that they have someone that is you know, greeting them off the top, whether that can be in person or through video or through a quick Zoom call, that's up to you. But um, they have someone that they can actually like meet with face-to-face -face virtually um, if we're all remote. And then that's really it. We have some policies and procedures that they need to review. So again, I'm not gonna show you how to build this, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, it's literally just a list and you can make it what you want. So if you found this helpful, if you have any questions on how to better onboard your team or your customers, or you wanna see a bit more about how this was actually built out, please leave me a comment and let me know. But again, if you got value out of this, share it with somebody, tell someone about it, subscribe if you haven't, like the video. And uh, until next time, we will see you soon. Bye.